welcome to part three of Rover Build. In the last episode, we salvaged the motors from drills. In this one, we're going to put some wires on the motors and lock the clutches. Let's get started. Tools will be number two screwdriver, 1032 tap, box of set screws. These are 1032 by 5 16 Quarter also works and is much more common. Bottle of thread locker and an appropriately sized Allen wrench. Step one is to cover up the motor vent holes with a little piece of tape. I choose to just leave this on and deal with a little bit of extra heat. Uh, once the construction is over, you can remove that if you so choose. Use our handy hover freight drill and the number two screwdriver bit. Take the three case screws out of the back of the uh, transmission case. Just separates right like that. there you can see inside the transmission. If I hold the ring gear down, you can see the transmission gear spin, but if I don't hold it down, the whole unit rotates. That's how the clutch uh, slips. See there's another pinion gear on the back of that carrier plate. And another set of gears deeper in the gearbox. I'll just dump these out. That is the output carrier plate. You can see it has three pins. Those are the failure point of this drill. That's the ring gear. You can see the top has uh, those little, I call them castellations. That's what gives the clutching action. That's the second stage gear. That's the first stage gear. You can see it's a little smaller. Uh, the second stage gear is about a millimeter thicker because it has to deal with much more torque. And this is a little metal cover plate that sometimes sticks to the motor side. And now we'll take apart the other three. Now we'll switch out the screwdriver bit for the 1032 cap and we'll choke up a little bit onto the round part of the tap and then we'll set the clutch a little bit on the low side. Now we'll just tap out those eight holes. Now because we've gone from the inside out, most of the chips are here on that cloth. There's usually a few that get trapped in the grease inside the gearbox, so I'll just take a swipe around with the wrench and uh, discard that grease. Better in the trash than in the gearbox. Put my handy Makita and uh, tap out all the rest. Now reassembly. We drop in the ring gear, take the uh, thicker second stage gears, drop one on each pin, now give it a little spin to make sure nothing's binding up, 
drop in the carrier plate. The higher the quality drill, the harder it will be to fit that in due to tolerances. Next, pop one gear onto each pin of the first stage. Lastly, that little metal cover. The motor mount plate has this uh, tab, and the gearbox has that corresponding pin. Then reinstall the three case screws. Now repeat. Well, we use uh, eight screws for each gearbox and a little drop of thread locker on each fastener as a prep. Use the T-handle Allen wrench to just drive the screws home. Put them in until the screws just bottom out and then back off about a half a turn. Wipe off as much excess thread locker as possible. And the shaft is now locked. And repeat. Next, We'll put the wires on. We need about eight feet of wire. Four zip ties, a little bit of solder, a soldering iron, and four noise suppression capacitors. These are put one microfarad 50 volt ceramic. First step is we strip about a half inch of insulation from each wire. This is handy to hold the drill. The motors have a little red spot to indicate positive. We'll make all four motors identical. Remove the old wires, straighten the tabs, and clear out the eyelets of the old solder. This is the tap method. Desolder braid or a solder sucker also works. So we'll use the insulation that we stripped off previously to uh, keep the capacitor leads from shorting out on the motor case. The old timers would call that spaghetti. Insert the positive wire and the negative, and then flow a little bit of solder. Clip the excess leads and then use a zip tie as strain relief. And clip the excess. And the finished product. Four motors prepped. And in the next installment, we will work on mounting some wheels and getting started on a frame. Righto!